Okay, here we go. Miles Turner, a member of the select team, and you've been here, Miles, getting ready to prepare our men for the national team to, to Rio de Janeiro. But first of all, how are you doing? I'm doing great, man. You know, I'm coming out here to take advantage of such a great opportunity. I'm learning a lot, you know, more, even more so than I learned this season. You know, being up against best, some of the best competition in the world, like right now, right here, it's been great. And Miles, a member of the Indiana Pacers, as you can pr see, proudly wearing his, his T-shirt. Mm -hmm. Lots of good things happening there. Paul George rebounding and showing what he's going to do. Third team All-NBA and some new additions. Talk about the, the look for the Pacers in 2016. No, first of all, Paul George should have been first team NBA, man. He, he came on the scene and proved, you know, reproved who he was. And by, but I mean, we're having, we're really excited about what's going on over there. You know, Coach, uh, you know, Coach Millen, him and I have been having some great conversations. You know, me and PG are cool. You know, we got some, you know, some great new additions this year. So I think we're, uh, you know, we're primed and ready for a big run. And the draft was a good one for the Pacers. Yeah, indeed. You know, we got George, uh, George Niang out of uh, Iowa State. I played against him a couple times. He's just so, he knows the game so well, man. And he's just, uh, he's kind of an older, you know, one of the older guys in the class. So he can come in right away and make an impact. You know, it's going to take some adjusting just like it would take any rookie. You know, it took me some adjusting. But, you know, I'm happy with, uh, you know, with our pick. And Miles, being in this type of a camp environment can only speak volumes for how you're getting better. And your all your goal every day is to get better, and you can't imagine in five days or four days working with the national team that you have risen in this very short period of time. I have, you know, like I said, it's been a short period of time, but I've learned a lot in that short period. So I'm just out here, you know, just working hard, you know, showing, you know, what I'm capable of doing, and uh, you know, getting myself ready for, you know, hopefully the 2020 Olympics. Keep your eyes on the future in that sense, but also you have a very good benefit here having Greg Popovich, the head coach of the select team. Talk about the interaction that he has with the players. Man, he's a, he's, he's a cool guy, man. He's real chill. I mean, I think the media doesn't see the uh, his real personality. You know, he's a, I think he's a great, obviously a great coach. You know, you know, like he like said the other day, you know, the championship speaks for itself. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really uh, relishing the opportunity to play you know, under him. And, of course, uh, being a part of the USA basketball program now uh, for the first time, was this, this actually the first time you've played under USA basketball? It hasn't. No, no, I played for the... Uh, under, under yeah. I was waiting for the buzzer. No, I played. I played for the U18. I won a gold medal with that group, so it was a good oh, opportunity yes, there too. Yes. And now, as uh, uh, Jerry Colangelo and Coach Shashevsky have always uh, infused into the players here, there is a sense of military outreach back to the community. Mm -hmm. Have they gone over what they plan to do this season well, with the military families? They haven't uh, right now, but I know they're definitely going to. And you know, the NBA just does such a great job of reaching out with you know, you know, with uh, every group of this, uh, you know, really this planet globally. You know, they're trying to outreach, you know, with the you know the World Games and just uh, you know sharing the you know sharing the love world around. Basketball is a worldwide sport. You know, it's a universal language. Language, so uh, I think you're doing a great job marketing. And Miles, just very quickly, because we know you had a beginning with your love for this game and the passion. Where might it have been uh, started, and who did you get it from? Um, you know, both my parents, man. My dad really, um, you know, put the ball in my hand at a young age. My mom gave me my first hoop, so it was a combination of both of them. You know, I get a lot of my competitive drive from my mother and then um, you know, my, my work ethic from my father. Okay. And then when you also, in uh, Indianapolis, there's a lot of charity, a lot of NBA cares, and you give back to the community. You're a very, very good person to share some of the things that you've been blessed with. How might you give some of that back to the kids in, in the Indianapolis area? I have to, man. You know, first of all, I started in my community where I grew up, the H-E-B area. You know, I'm having my camp that's coming up here, you know, August 11th to 12th. You know, I'm really excited about that, you know, starting where I got my roots from. And I also have my Warren Foundation in Indianapolis. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's not really a, a charity. It's an initiative that focuses towards, um, you know, giving back to some of the less fortunate, you know, yes. man, um, primarily, the, you know, I guess the homeless in that regard. And lastly, as they say, your comrades in arms here, your, your friends. These are your friends. Only in the NBA are the adversaries because they're, they're competitors. But here we know that the, the, the word is getting around Carmelo, Dwayne Wade, and what they said and LeBron said at the ESPYs. Huge message that they, they, they unveil there. And as that grows, um, might the NBA players all unite and get behind a certain, uh, say, uh, dimension of that. Who knows what can happen, man? We all, we're all, um, you know, have a lot of attention on us. We're all using our platform, so um, who knows what it, what it could bring? But that was definitely a great start. It's a very big united front, very, very powerful one. Miles Turner, we thank you very much, and we know. will be following you. All right. Hopefully, when you come through and play the Clippers and the Lakers, we'll see you here. Sounds good. Okay. Thanks, guys.